guitarist extraordinaire, and I said that I'm leaving that with a capital E, Michael Butler. And can we hear some of that CD in the background, please? That, uh, whoop. Is it on? Oh, okay. The CD that you guys hear, but we can't hear it in this studio, but it's in your speakers at home, is a production by Michael Butler. He's not only an artist, he's also a producer, and that was a production of one of his records that he did for Antonio Meek. And where was that recorded, Michael? Recorded at Mother West Studios. Uh-huh. And how was that experience for you? It was great, because uh, I've always uh, never had that opportunity before. I started out as a guitar teacher, oh. and uh, it led one thing led to another. I was producing, and it felt great to be like the, the boss. Hmm. And uh, at what point in your career did you make that transition from artist to producer artist? Last summer. Oh, uh-huh. Well, you know, oh, because known. he asked you to do the record, so you... I've always known what I want my own stuff to sound like, and I've always had the misfortune to work with producers who had no clue where I was coming from, and always tried to make me into something I wasn't. So when it came to Antonio, he asked me to do it, and I, uh, I took on the challenge to really tap into what he wanted out of the project and see if I could bring it to life, because he knew he's a talented guy, but he was new and he didn't know anything about studio or how it works. Is that CD going to be in stores anytime soon? Or? Oh, I hope so. Uh, yeah. It's over in Europe. Yeah, it's a great uh, CD. I mean, you gave it to me. I listened to it and it, it sounded great. I mean, I think everyone should have a copy. Um, you, you have been pretty well received here in the United States. Did you have... I mean, <laughs> did you have any breaks that, that you know put you out there or just happen step by step gradually? No, nah, I've just been bumming around for like 15 years in the music business uh, while well, trying to get in the music business and I kind of just uh, crashed at some point and said the hell with it all and uh, I started back gradually just playing cover music which is something I never did before I was an original artist never made a dime uh, so then I started playing covers the last few years and I've been making a living at music for the first time in my life so I'm pretty happy about that. Hmm. And, um, a musician. Uh, do, you, do you practice your vocal exercises every day to keep your voice in shape or it's just like you wake up in the morning and have a cup of tea? What do you do to keep your voice in shape? I move songs into the right key so I can sing them over and over again and not ruin my voice. Oh, so you, you really trans you tr do a lot of transposing? Oh, yeah. I used to try to sing something wherever I figured it out or wherever the artist did it and uh, took its toll on my voice. So I, I now move things into my key, which is a lot easier. Uh-huh. But being an artist uh, not only takes a lot of discipline, it takes a certain amount of spirituality. Uh, is there anything that specifically you do to keep yourself spiritually in tune as well, or...? I think just being honest to uh, where you're coming from with your music. Um, I'm a big believer in God. Uh, you know, I have all my life. Uh, so that comes along with just who I am, whether I was a musician or whoever I would be. But, uh, you know... So God guides you? Oh, yeah. And um, what do you do to remain so focused and positive? You seem like you're very focused. I mean, throughout your demos that I heard, you know, all the songs from the years, they all sound really good. Like, you're always very I like focused. My children. What is, do you have a, ma a mantra that keeps you focused throughout this um, ordeal of going through your career? Uh, or basically? It's just, you know, at this stage of the game, you get my age, you just realize this is all you do and this is what you're going to do. And I guess that's the most focus you get because. Yeah, I've tried a number of things. I, I've been to college. I've tried to take on day jobs. I've had day jobs, but all it really comes Can down to... Can someone please bring his guitar on stage? We're going to have Michael Butler do a song. Um, <laughs> and uh, what are you going to be singing for tonight? Oh, I'm going to sing. I know the guitar's not here. A rescue? Oh, yeah. Uh -huh. uh, I wrote this in, like, I'll take that. 92. Uh-huh. And, uh... And are you allowed to hooked up, girl? Yep. And uh, he's gonna do, here we go, ladies and gentlemen, Michael Butler Rescued. It's my favorite song.
Thank you. Welcome. Thanks for having me on the show. You're welcome. I've watched it. It's, it's time it's been on. All right. Well, it's great having you. And I'm like, see you again soon. Come back on the show. Sure. Thanks for Dr. Rodriguez, the, one of these camera people, and Jason, and David in the control room, Andy, my assistant, and his assistant, which is your name is? Alex. Alex, and the producer of Angelo Vega's show, which his name is? Uh, Nelson Torres. Nelson Torres. And the show is Saturday night at 11 o'clock. Michael Butler, thanks for coming. Paco, your greatest. And Kate Erickson. And Michael Butler and Angelo. And everybody else who I miss, thank you, thank you. And listen to my song, because I worked on it, so I don't want to go away. So listen up, guys. And